Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. I have a question, came in customer service today. And it's from uh, Joe. And Joe says, and I mean, this is plain, simple, and to the point, one short sentence. I know about fat, but hitting fat shots with my lob wedge off a tight lie is really driving me nuts. Okay, that's all he says. I guess it would drive almost anybody nuts, wouldn't it? Especially if it's if you're going nice, nice soft turf and you you're doing what we call lay the sod over the turf. Okay, so the key the key becomes I think we got to talk about a couple of things here. First, we got to start off with setup because the setup determines the motion, and and uh, and then we got to talk about maybe a little bit of technique. All right. Now, I think probably the the number one key is is I have to ask this question. There's even on a tight lie, you could be trying to hit a number of different shots. You could be trying to hit more of a bump and run and and hit the ball low even though you're using the sand wedge, or in fact your lob wedge, and then you could be trying to hit a normal shot uh, where, where the ball just gets up in the air normally and runs out, and then you might be trying to hit a higher shot, all right, uh, much higher shot. So I think the, the number one issue is setup is going to be different for all three of those shots, all right, and, and, and the swing will be quite different, okay. And I think therein lies your problem. It's somewhere along those those routes, you're you're getting in a problem with the setup, and therefore, and then and then the type of swing it's causing you to make. All right. So let's just look at it this way. We're going to start with the with the with the simple one. If you're trying to hit more of a pitch and run wedge, even with a sand wedge, you still don't want to be able coming down so steep that you're going to you can stick that club in the ground. Okay. Even if you hit impact, just just that one one split second or millimeter from the ball and hit the ground first that'll be somewhat of a chunk to where you can begin it back here and I think you're talking about chunks Joe's talking chunk, about chunks where he's more back here and so the key is low I'm going to talk from this perspective low means for a right hander low means if you want to hit low shots you got to get your way a little bit left all right because you're going to come down steeper on the ball you got to be very still you got to have that nose that nose at the ball, looking right at it, because if you've got your nose off position, it's going to affect where the club's going to come down. So you just want to be here. From there, you're slightly ahead. You can put the ball back in your stance a little bit, and you. But you still want to come down. And and when you're coming down, you're going to maintain your angle going through, and 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 you know, as you swing through to the target, the, if you swing far enough through, there'll be a little body rotation through the target, and and you're just going to nip that ball, and you're going to keep your knees quiet, keep your body quiet, and you're going to do what? You're going to finish low. So get your hands and forward low, and where, based on the height you want to hit it with the loft, and it's like shooting pool. You got to figure angles out here. As pool, you figure the the cue ball into the into the ball you're hitting for the and where you got to hit it to get the angle it wants to go to the to, to whatever pocket you're trying to hit. Well, you go here. You're thinking about with this loft on this club at this angle. I come down like this, and I that, what what angle of attack here and hand position is going to give me the launch angle I want there. All right. So best thing, whatever, is you always take that setup and just where will your where will the release of your of your lower hand be to hit the launch you want? So let's say I want to hit a, a little bit longer air shot, higher air shot in the air. Well, I was just here for the real low one. I might just I might leave it back there, but what am I gonna do? I'm gonna reduce my forward shaft lean, alright? And I think in many cases, when people start chunking them, especially if they're chunking them close to the ball, they got too much forward shaft lean, they're coming in too steep. Even for trying to hit a low shot. So I was here for the low shot real low one, almost like a chip shot with a, with a sand wedge out front. Now I'm going to come in with more of a normal shot. I could leave it in the same place, but notice how I brought my hands closer to a normal position. And I followed through. You see my follow through when the ball went up here instead of down there? And you saw where my finish was. The club was up here. So I, I finished up and I actually stood up a little bit more. Now let's say I want to hit more of a regular pitch shot with the sand wedge. I'll just stand very, I'll get the ball very likely back in the center and and I will just make more of a normal swing and stand up. Now this might even go over the net, all right? So I'm not gonna hit it too hard because I don't wanna hit it out of the yard here. And so I just make my normal shot and, I, and you see how I came up more. And again, I had everything followed through. The club stayed with the body and, and the club came up, just like I would come up if I wanted to go higher. Now if I was gonna hit a lob shot, which would really get back there, and again, people chunk out on this one because it's easy to chunk out on this shot because of the fact that that if you come in here and you try to help the ball up too much and you and you start falling backwards, that's a big chunk right there. Remember that that we got to take out that big bounce. That's why you go to a uh, 
most lob wedges have 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 a less higher bounce on them, so that and the bounce is designed for the club to to hit the sand and not dig. So you're taking the, you're taking the bounce out of it. You might open up the face a little bit, stand here, stand neutral, maybe even a little bit back, but you got to stay here. But you can't fall backwards trying to hit it up. Now, in some cases, you might you might hang in here. I always like on those shots to back off a little bit more to give me more room, so that I can come in here and my knees can flex a little bit more to go in there, and they come up and see that cleared the net by about two feet. But you notice I didn't have as much follow through because I'm over here. Because again, if I want to hit the ball up here and then throw the ball up there, I got to kind of stay in the shot here. I just can't. If I go like this, I could come out of it and top it instead. All right. Now, let me get into what I think is probably could be the setup thing that's killing you for making a good a good pitch with your lob wedge. This happens with chipping and everything else. People come in here, players get in here, and they want to hit the ball. They want to hit that pitch or that pit chip shot, or, or even a pitch and run, so to speak, with a lob wedge, as you can do with a sand wedge, and a pitching wedge, and a 9-9, or whatever. They get in here, and they get the hands too far forward. They get them out of, out of, seek, out of, out of position to their, to their sternum. You always got to remember, this top thumb on your shaft, on your, clear, on your hand, when, when you're gripping the club, the top hand, left hand for a righty, for me, that thumb can never... That thumb can never get outside of this, of your stern, or the top of your sternum, because if it's over there and you let your arm swing straight down from that position, you cold top, you cold chunk it every time. Because if you're that far out, remember your arms always swing back to a point dead, dead below your sternum. So if I want that much, if I want that much shaft lean, see a lot of people walk into a ball, then they want that much shaft lean, but they've already set their stance. You're, you're, you're pretty much just x yourself out. So what I always do is. If, when I determine <coughs> in my mind what I want to do, and if I want that much shaft lean, I'm going to come in, I'm going to take the shaft lean, then I'm going to take my stance from there, balls back or whatever, but I'm going to always check that this to that is, is together. So when that's together, the club will always return to make a good little nippy pitch shot because you still don't want to gouge these shots out. Same thing here. If I get the ball, if I'm going to hit the ball a little bit higher, I'm still going to have that thumb at the shaft. Club comes up a little bit more, but the higher I want to hit it, the more, the less I want to really be swinging up because I got to stay, I got to stay here and make sure the club slides under the ball versus the club, you know, following through lower to hit the lower shots. Okay, so I think ultimately your setup would be probably too much shaft lean, but too much shaft lean that is, has your your top hand out of out of whack with your center of uh, of the swing up here, which is the top of your spine, and and if you're out here, you're gonna, you pretty much can chuck it every time. Or you get here and try to stop chunking it. You go like this, and the next thing you know, you got you got chips and you got tops and chunk, uh, and and thin and thin skulls. Okay, so that is critical. So setup determines the motion, even with hitting a sand wedge, and and usually it always comes back to setup. And bad setup will cause all these compensations. So get whatever position you want. Just think about your lower hand tossing a ball. Get in that correct position. And just toss the ball like hit the swing like you were just tossing the ball, and that'll get you where you want to go. But top thumb never gets out of line, out of line with your sternum. Okay, that's it for the search for today on helping us become better short game wizards around the green, so we can shoot those lower scores. That's it for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.